Hey family, welcome to today's inspirational vitamin. Uh, this comes from Galatians, Galatians chapter five. And <clears throat> if you could, I would definitely read from 16 uh, down to 25. I'm only gonna read verse 25. It says, since we live by the spirit, let us keep in step with the spirit. And uh, I recently started studying out the Holy Spirit more in depth. Um, got another Bible app or whatnot that I've been um, that I've been I've been utilizing, and um, I've been studying the Spirit, and I just really ultimately want this to be who I am, the Scripture that I live by. Uh, since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Well, let's let's break that down real quick. Um, Paul here. There's, a, there's an assumption that, that's taking place, and it's that we're living by the Spirit, since we live by the Spirit. And so he, he goes on and he says that those, like before that scripture, he talks about how those who belong to Christ, um, they've been crucified. They've crucified the flesh. Um, and so as Christians, as followers of Jesus, uh, we, we should constantly be crucifying the flesh. Uh, those acts of the sinful nature that are obvious uh, should not be a regular uh, practice in our lives. The fruit of the spirit should be uh, on our branches uh, as we go about our days. And so Paul is saying, since we live by the spirit, since we have the fruit of the spirit in our lives on a consistent basis, let us keep in step with the spirit. And this made me think about uh, at work today, there was a little boy who had just learned to walk. So his mom was like, okay, come on, come on, come on. And, um, you know, he's just, he's doing his best, right? He's falling or stumbling or whatever the case may be. And I think that's how we are too uh, when we first start off uh, in following God is we may stumble, we may fall, we trip and we're going slow. And um, But keeping in step, it's like you're walking uh, almost in tandem. You're walking hand in hand, so to speak. But you don't start off that way, right? You start off just kind of trying to keep up with mom or dad. Um, as time progresses, and one, you learn how to walk. Um, but two, you learn how mom or dad walks. So you're not just walking you're walking based on the pace of mom or dad as a child. And I think that's what this scripture is referring to when it says keep in step with the spirit. Are we walking at the pace of the Holy Spirit? Are we lagging behind? Are we, you know, the spirit is not, he not all the way up there. And we're, we're just trying to, we're trying to run or whatever. And he's like, chill out. We're, we're not, we're not getting to that point yet, you know, or maybe it's vice versa where the spirit is trying to get us someplace and we are, we're just kind of lollygagging. We're stopping and smelling roses or whatever the case may be. Um, and I want to encourage us and challenge us to keep in step with the Holy Spirit. And in order to keep in step with the spirit, you must be in tune with the spirit. You must have the fruit of the spirit. You must crucify the flesh and those worldly desires uh, that you have. And a lot of us, we may not be, we're older, right? We're older Christians. Uh, sexual immorality may not be our thing, you know. Uh, impurity may or may, or may not be our thing. Uh, but there's so many other things that we should potentially be crucifying as followers of Christ. And um, I just want to encourage us to keep in step as we live by the Spirit to keep in step with the spirit and just see what God does. And I know he's going to do amazing things. I love you guys. I have a fantastic weekend and we'll see you next time.